Right everyone, Rav Collector here. Right, I thought I'd do a video on pistol crossbows. Specifically the new models that you can get and some of the ways you can set them up because there's various ways you can set these up that you may not be aware of. Not just this one, this is a Redback XR. I'll show you this one fully last. But I will be covering the Redback, the Redback XR, the Tomcat 2 and the Tron and showing you different ways you can set these up with multiple accessories and ways you can shoot them and what you can shoot from them. So I think the first one I'll go to is the Tron. So this one is the Armex Tron. Marketed at about £80, I think there's a £50 version. It's a pullback version where you pull the handle back and you use a foot stirrup. That does restrict some of the accessories you can put on it. This one is actually around about £65 from my experience when I tested it. Still more powerful than the old model pistol crossbows though. And you can still get more accessories on this. So at the minute all I've really got on mine is a quiver which I make myself. They're for sale if anyone's interested in those. I'll, there'll be more information in the description of the video if you want any of the items I make. So a quiver, I like to have a quiver on all of my pistol crossbows purely because I like to be able to just pick up the crossbow and have bolts ready on it. You know, I would also still have a bag of bolts, but it's nice to have six if you need them. And you don't have to pick up anything else then. So that is why I would always recommend a quiver. And the quivers I make will hold pretty much every single type of pistol bolt you can get if it's a standard bolt with a standard tip. So ABS ones, aluminium ones, all the types of ABS and aluminium ones you can find which you'll see in this um, video. And the only other accessory I've got on the Tron is a light. So you have the light on the bottom there. But the issue with this is the stirrup interferes ever so slightly. The battery's running out on this so it's not very um, strong. But you could also get a handle on there. Um, you could put a different sight on. But I'll show you all of those on the other crossbows. So that's about the bare minimum in my opinion. <coughs> you could also put a sling on this. It's got a mount for a sling. And there is definitely more things you could put on here, but I like this one to be more like a dedicated pistol. So I'll put that one back up and now I'll go to the standard Redback. So this is the Horizon Redback. 80 pound pistol crossbow. Fires around about 75. So much more powerful than the original crossbows that you used to be able to buy that was marketed at 80 pound, which were really around about 40 pound when I've tested them. Reasonably difficult to cock though, if you don't know uh, the right technique. So, what I created was a bayonet cocking aid. So this is a mild steel bayonet, you know, and it is a fully working bayonet, but what it really is, is a cocking aid. Because originally you would only put two fingers on this. Now you can hold it with your whole hand and cock it. Now I won't cock it here because I'd have to uncock it. But that's what those are and again I make those and if you wanted any details on those it would be in the description or you could email me. And they are for sale, so are the quivers. So these are some of the other bolts that will fit in the quivers. So it will fit those type and these are ones I make myself as well which are for sale occasionally. I, um, I do Proper broadhead ones now. I'll show you one of those quickly. So you can shoot these out of any of these new pistol crossbows. These will shoot absolutely fine, no adjustments at all. So again, this one's really got the bare minimum on it. Cocking aid, I think a cocking aid is really a good thing to add. Um, but as I say, it is a fully working um, bayonet really, but it's, it's a cocking aid. So it just helps you cock the crossbow a bit quicker and then you've got a quiver again as I mentioned. But you could fit on here a handle, different sights, this one's got open sights, same as the Tron 
both of these have got the original sights but you can add telescopic sights red dot sights and stuff like that which I will show you in a second so what I'll move on to now is the Tomcat 2 so now we're getting on to crossbows that have quite a few different accessories on this one has a 3D printed stock extender from 3D cabin because the original stock ends about there and the problem with the stocks they are too short really to, to be useful in my opinion um, this makes it just long enough to actually make it a usable stock um, the original stock is way too short with open sights you're way too close so stock extender from 3D cabin a sling which I make myself and sell those that's one there. It's a very simple sling, but that's all you really need. A simple um, nylon webbing sling with some big O-rings to fit on the attachments. So it fits on there, but you have the larger ring at the front to fit around the handle of the cocking aid bayonet. So again, cocking aid bayonet, and with the stock extender, this is the, this is the easiest crossbow cock it's absolutely lovely you can also fit a handle and this one's connected with a this is a weaver rail riser so it just drops the handle down slightly more so that you can get your full hand on it otherwise you can still use it without a riser but you'll just be holding on to maybe with three fingers but that's that's still enough in my opinion quiver again with six bolts and as I mentioned purely because I like to be able to just pick up a crossbow and have at least six bolts on it with with some of the combinations you'll see I've done what it, it's all about being able to just pick up your crossbow day or night and never have to pick up anything else because people will always say you don't need a torch why don't you wear a head torch yeah but then you have to pick up two things um, why have a quiver when you can have a bag of bolts? Yeah, but then again, I've got to pick up two things. With this setup, I do not have to pick up anything at all, and it's all on there. So, <clears throat> quiver there, and on this one, I've got a red dot sight and a flashlight mounted to the side. Now, I had to do this myself. What I did, I glued on a piece of weaver rail that had a curved surface so it could be glued on and zip tied on and then I now have a red dot sight and on the side of it a flashlight and the other thing that flashlight does why I actually prefer my flashlights on the top is at night if you was ever shooting at night you cannot see to load the bolts in so it's actually more convenient to have a light on the top and it lights the rail up as well as the target so you can continuously shoot because you can actually see where you're putting your bolts easily that's why I would personally always recommend a flashlight on the top if you can and again I'll show you another way to do this with open sights so that's the Tomcat 2 fully kitted out stock extender sling quiver handle bayonet red dot sight flashlight oh and one thing I would say again about this one is this one has had a slight modification where the anti dry fire mechanism has been taken out and what that enables is you can shoot basically full size bolts so it will shoot bolts like that and I suspect it would shoot the bolts that the Cobra Adder shoots as well now because that's the only thing stopping it is there's a little bit inside there which prevents the larger bolts going back so you can take that out and it still has dual safety still it's just you don't have an anti-dry fire mechanism but that's down to the user if you want to do that or not and these bolts if you would like those are from a company called custom pistol bolts and if they're still making them feel free to email simon who makes them and I'll put a link below.
Right, now we're moving on to the Redback XR. Uh, this one has a magazine. But you can still fit all of these same accessories onto a standard Tomcat or um, Redback. This is just the magazine versions. So, this one's got a custom made stock extender. You can't actually buy this, I made this one myself. But um, you can buy a stock extender for the Redback, which I'll show next. This one also has a upgraded aluminium safety, which I make myself and will sell eventually. Um, so yeah, if you want one of those, they'll be coming soon. And I'll do a video showing you how to install those. Quiver that holds the XR Torp bolts, I think they're called. This one's got a sling again, cocking aid, this one's very easy to cock as well. Uh, handle with the riser again, because it just means that the handle is a little bit further down so you can get your whole hand on it a bit easier. And the main difference with this one is it's got a torch on the top again, but with a peep through mount. So you can see here that I can see under the under the flashlight so basically a peep through mount you can see the sight the open sight is underneath and then you can have the flashlight on the top and it lights up the rail for putting a new magazine in and those mounts can be bought for around about two pound off of ebay all of the mounts you see mentioned here can all be bought very cheaply on ebay or amazon so yeah, that's another quite a nice setup i think and you can buy any amount of flashlights that fit on these. You know, that fit in. It just needs to be a one-inch flashlight, basically, and fit in. And if not, just wrap some tape around it. This one's just had a bit of tape round. So that one can be shot open sights, but also at night with a flashlight. And then lastly, we've got another Redback XR with probably the most accessories I've got on anything. I think I'm not sure. Probably not as much as my Tomcat 2, but around about the same. So. Stock extender from 3D Cabin again, but this is the red back version. Red dot sight, magazine, but this is the magazine that comes with this, obviously. Quiver holding the spare bolts for the magazine. Custom made handle, uh, foregrip, made from the side handle of a baton. Sling. Again, with the large mount that goes over the handle of the bayonet. Bayonet cocking aid. Again, this is a very nice one to cock. I won't cock this, because if you cock it past the, the little switches here, it will put a bolt in. Um, and a mount on the side here for a flashlight. So you can see the flashlight there. So this one has a side mount. So again, lots of stuff you can put on this. And to be able to fit some of these on there, you will need to buy things like risers. So the quiver on this one has a riser on just there. It just brings it down far enough so that you can get the torch on. Because without the riser, those two will interfere with each other. So you buy the riser for the quiver, it will drop it down a little bit more. You can then get the torch aligned with it. But yeah, if you buy risers and stuff like that... You can get so many combinations of items on your crossbows, really. And I, I think these are great for what they are. Considering when you buy these, they'll just start with the crossbow and a foregrip. That's it. You know, in open sights. The amount of things you can put on these. But I do like to have, personally, a flashlight. At least a flashlight. A quiver. You don't always need a foregrip. You don't always need a sling. Um... I think the cocking aids are very, very helpful if you want to be able to cock these quickly. If you watch Wolf's Head's videos where he's using a red back with a cocking aid and a stock extender and the bolts in his hand, he can cock and shoot a red back in probably less than two seconds. Um, not that I've counted, but it's, it's quick, put it that way. Um, yeah, very quick because he can get his hand quickly on the 
you know, you don't have to worry where you put your hand to just, just grab it. Um, yeah, and then the stock extender's nice and big and, you know, easy to, to go. So there you go. Those are some of the different accessories you can get for your pistol crossbows. And there's plenty of them. Four grips, flashlight mounts, quivers, bayonets, stock extenders. There'll be links for everything in the description. And if you want any of the items I make, just email me and I'll try and sort you out. Just be aware though, I'm a one-man band and I don't get many days to make things nowadays. So, um, you know, sometimes, sometimes I'll have one day a week to be able to make items. But you will get your items. So there you go. That's just some of the accessories you can get and add to your pistol crossbows I think they're well worth getting these new types of ones there's at least uh, uh, what is there so there's the Red Bat, Tomcat 2, Tron, the XR, PSE Viper and maybe one or two others that are all based off of the basic Red Bat model and those are the ones that you'll be able to get all of these accessories to fit um, yeah I think it's well worth doing personally you can get some really, really good stuff on these, as you can see. Alright, I hope you enjoyed the video, hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. If, if you ever wanted to support this channel, you can. And there'll be a little video at the end showing you how to. Alright, thank you for watching. See you later.